Hi, Mark Horacio, Gun Mark TV. Um, there's an interesting little rifle here to show you. <clears throat> um, obviously, I was in involved in the, the field target shooting right from the start, back in the 80s, that I was boring people with. And there was actually, uh, it was a rifle called the Sharp Innova, which was a little pump-up rifle from Japan. A chap at the time, uh, Dave Stevens, who was he used to sort of take them apart, rebuild them, and he was actually winning shoots with them. There was this uh, um, sort of pump-up, so it's obviously pneumatic, and you, you had really good accuracy from them. Um, this follows the Sharp Innova pattern. It looks very similar. And anyone who remembers those guns, that whole breech, uh, breech block there is actually following that profile. And this is a multi-pump action. This is the Webley Rebel. I think it's still available from Highland Outdoors. And this is uh, this was re uh, sort of introduced quite a few years back now. And it's sort of following that profile the Innova and it's so basically it's a multi-pump that front section of the forehead is the pump so we'll show that in a moment and you're you put variable number of pumps into the system and then thereafter obviously it's a recoilless action because of that very nice to shoot and they're normally quite efficient now looking on here obviously we've got quite a nice fiber optic open sights that all come as standard with this you've got a threaded muzzle there so you can stick a silencer on Coming back, you've got obviously you've got your barrel and then you've got your, that's the compression cylinder underneath. So that's a sort of barrel over, so it looks like a conventional PCP, but as I say, it is a pump up. That's your rear sight, so that, that's quite a nice Ripley style. I had the Vulcan, the not originally, and that was a very nice finger wheel adjustment. That sort of follows similar pattern there. Got this is a, it's a single shot load, so you've got the only thing is with this, it's quite a fiddly little small aperture where the breech is, so we'll show that in a minute. That is your breech release um, system. So that releases the bolt here, uh, that little button. You've got a, a trigger here, molded trigger guard, and then obviously this uh, composite stock, sort of technically two part, because the front part is the bump handle. But yeah, it's, it's very functional and streamlined, and it's um, obviously you've got dovetails here, so you stick your scope on. Now with this, you've got, I mean, the, this, these things are only five pound in weight overall, so pretty light. It's quite a bit of effort involved with the pumping system, that's all. They claim, the manufacturers claim about 10 foot pound. I tested one a good while back. The results I had was um, sort of four pumps. It's reasonably um, easy to do, and I was getting about six and a half foot pounds. Then it went to whether you did five, six or seven, it still came out roughly the same, and that was seven and a half foot pounds. Eight pumps sort of brought um, eight foot pounds. So I was a bit below the claim, but they're gonna vary slightly. So these are, it's more for sort of general informal target use. So the RRPs are quite cheap as well. So I'll just show you the, the cocking system. So <clears throat> you put the, uh, obviously like anything, when you're cocking it, control that butt, put it into your groin, and then that lever comes right up. Make sure it's going up to the full extent of its arc, so it means you're going to then compress a consistent amount of air inside the chamber. Be in control of the action. Don't have your finger where you're going to snap it with the, um, the lever coming closed. That's one, two, three, four. Now that's not too bad effort. Gets obviously progressively harder as you're, you're putting more pumps in. Then you press that button to release the bolt like so. And then you're rolling over into there, a pellet into the breech. Uh, hopefully you can see the pellet now in there. Push your bolt forward and you're ready to go. Just take the shot. There's quite a nice dead feel to this and the trigger's not bad either. Yeah, obviously, it's all sort of relatively made down to a price, but they're nice little guns and it's, it's a sort of unusual configuration as well. And as I say, you should find it's, it's fairly accurate. So yeah, interesting little gun. It's sort of a nice feel to it. Anyone who was familiar with the Sharpie Nova will bring back very fond memories, I'm sure. So that's the Webley Rebel.